Yo, Yo, good morning everybody. Welcome from here in Pamukkale. If you've heard of Pamukkale before, then you're probably familiar with that gorgeous, almost snow-like looking natural landscape where there's pools of blue that just sit there in those cascading terraces. But did you know that there's also ancient history here too? So we're hoping to check that all out today. Yeah, we're up super early because it not only is it summer holidays, but it's also a public holiday today. Yeah, so it's like the worst time to be here. <laughs> We've also got our expectations set right because we've heard that in summer sometimes the pools can run dry but no matter what the case is going to be we're going to have an amazing time yeah definitely it is almost 6 30 a.m now so the gate should be opening and we're gonna head on in all right let's do it <laughs> So if you're coming to Pamukkale yourself, there are three different entrances, the north entrance, south entrance, as well as the town entrance. And we've heard a little bit of conflicting information about the opening times for all of the different entrances, but we're here at the south entrance at 6.30 a.m. and it is open, thankfully for yes. us. It ticket... opens earlier than the other entrances, Which but is we're not 100% sure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the ticket prices were 200 lira per person, and we noticed that there was a different version of a ticket that you could buy for 250 lira, which included the museum as well but our one includes the Hierapolis as well as the terraces and those are the two main things that we want to see anyway so yeah. works out just right and it's already a little group of people here but apparently it gets way more crowded later yeah that's right when the tour buses start coming <laughs> We're heading over to the Travertines right now and we can already see so much of the ruins that's just around. But we know that we need to get to the Travertines first because that's when it gets very crowded very quickly. So we're on a rush. <laughs> yes, so we are. And we also um, checked with one of the security guards and he said, yes, this is the south entrance and it is the one that opens earlier. And the other two, the north entrance and the town entrance, open later at 8 a.m., at least in summertime anyway. But yeah, we'll definitely come back and check Check out all the ruins later. Right now, gravity. So, so happy to report that these pools are not dry. I don't know what the other people that we saw in videos online saw where there were some dry pools, but this place is still so gorgeous. I'm so it happy. It is that magical we got here, here, man. It's crazy. Yeah. It's just like such a pretty pale looking blue and you've got such an incredible view that just overlooks everything from this side. It was super close walking from the South Gate entrance as well. So yeah. Incredible! <laughs> We're going to make our way over to the part where you can apparently go into the pools because I think that's where it's going to be the busiest. This part is amazing though and this part is protected because you can't actually go into these ones here. But you can admire it and also from the man-made edges of it. But the rest of it, oh my gosh, it's such an incredible natural phenomenon. We were just walking around the perimeter and we saw the spot where we can walk down into the water and we we're super excited yeah. for it. We're gonna go down in a sec, but we did wanna show you this spot because this used to be the spot where it had a lot of that brilliant blue water that would just sit in these pools here, but yes. these are the areas which are dry, unfortunately. But it's still okay because all that side over there where we just were is still filled with water and it looks absolutely incredible. Yeah, it does. Apparently these ones were um, due to over tourism last time and so they need time to recover i think fascinating that nature can form these very strange otherworldly looking curves here looks like a brain what does that feel like <laughs> cold 
and cross. Wow, but you can understand how this place Pamukkale got its name because Pamukkale in Turkish means cotton castle. And it's very firm and almost like sandpaper. With the ground, it's the same, but there are some parts that's actually quite smooth. So I can imagine if there's water there, it can be pretty slippery too. But yeah, how amazing is this place? It's so <laughs> cool. Now this entire area you do have to go bare feet and if you're not used to that and you've got baby feet it might hurt just a little bit <laughs> but i'm kind of used to that and i cannot wait to get into this yes, water i'm already in the water but this is this reaction Ooh, it is like cotton candy <laughs> it's so soft and clay like it's very sludgy in here yeah ooh, ooh, that's, <laughs> wow it is so nice in here. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Thermal spring water, but um, this part is not very, very warm. I believe the higher pools are meant to be hotter. Yeah, hotter the higher you go, but ooh, this is nice. Amazing. <laughs> I can't believe we're here. What did you find over here, bud? This water is actually really warm. Those ones are a lot cooler, maybe because it's in the shade, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's really nice to take a dip of the feet in. <laughs> While I was doing all my nerdy research about this place and how the landscape is formed, I learned that travertine is a unique type of limestone and it's formed by the calcium carbonate deposits that's left from the thermal mineral waters that flow over this place. So I guess over the thousands of years, it just builds layers upon layers and you get this incredible landscape. It's so amazing to see and it's just quite fun to touch as well <laughs> because it's so unusual. And when you're walking through it, you've got all that clay-like sludginess, but then the pretty pools. Oh, it's just amazing. It really does kind of look like snow, but definitely does not feel anything like snow. <laughs> So similar to the Wairake terraces that we've got back home, it is believed that these waters have healing properties. So not only is it good for skin problems, but also for digestion as well. Yeah. And that's something to do with the minerals that can be found inside of these waters. Makes and sense. Yeah, it does, <laughs> right? And even back like in olden times, during Roman times, it was believed that this area was a spa resort. <laughs> got its reputation around the second century for that, I believe. That's a long time ago. When you reach the bottom, you get greeted with some magnificently blue-hued pools. And I gotta say, man, I've been telling you the whole time, this has got to be one of the most amazing places that we've ever been to. The landscapes here are just unreal. When you look over to the, like, um, I don't know what to call them, like, uh, Pamukkale <laughs> cliff area <laughs> over there, it's like so blinding because of how brilliantly white it is and then you've got the sun reflecting off of it. And more spectacular than that, I, I just can't get over it, okay, is the swirls inside all the different formations that you're seeing in this entire area. It's yeah. just crazy how beautiful nature really is. Yes, I love that some dogs also come <laughs> and just visit the place too. Yeah, there are lots of random dogs appreciating the beauty of Pamukkale. It is, Really, really spectacular, guys. Yes, it is. Special day. Just above the pools, there is a little spot to get some food. It is 9.30 a.m. and it is absolutely packed yeah, now. Yeah, breakfast time though. Yeah, and uh, the prices here are quite pricey compared to normal places, but that's because it is a more touristy area. Yeah, so, so it's expected. Yeah, that is very expected. I've got myself a bologna and cheese toasty. So let's give it a try. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. And I just got a little cheese and cornbread. We've made 
our way over to the Cleopatra Antique Pools. Got our tickets, it's 130 lira each for us. And we're going to just head down there so that we can put our stuff away in the locker. wondering why it's called the Cleopatra Antique Pool. There is a legend that Mark Antony actually gifted this pool to Cleopatra and she used to bathe in these waters. It's super amazing just having all these fallen Roman columns just in the water with you. And I thought it'd be quite hot, but it's actually not too bad. It's just like a nice warmish sort of temperature. strictly prohibited inside the pool but you are welcome to freely walk around on the outside and take photos and videos and that sort of thing which is why Peter's on the other end of the camera right now doing this um, filming. There is a guy that's inside that we've noticed that has a t-shirt that says photo service so that might be why they ban it for the inside here. But anyways I think it's time you come into the water. Yeah I agree I can't wait to jump in. What did you think? Man, that was super cool. And what's yeah. interesting is as soon as you step in, you, there's a whole bunch of pebbles and rounded columns. Yeah, that's so right. you do have to like watch your footing, but once you get past the initial shock of it all, it's all good. <laughs> I think, like when I think about it, there's no other place in the world where you can experience swimming amongst not only the ancient ruins, but having the legend of Cleopatra and Mark Antony just adds to the coolness factor of it, it all. It does. Yeah. There is the ruins of the Hierapolis Theatre right back over there and yeah. we're about to make our way over there soon but man what a cool experience it's been so far today. Yeah and one tip you want to bring your own towels? Oh yes definitely bring your own towels because there's nowhere for you to rent them. Yeah. You're gonna have to either buy one or bring your own and uh, if you want to buy one it's very expensive here. Yeah. Well, so I saw a bunch of people filling up some mineral water, so you know, I had to get some as well. So <laughs> let's give it a taste. I did not expect that. What? This water is carbonated. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I reckon if you had a pH tester, if you put it in this, it would like go way above seven. It tastes incredibly alkaline or basic or whatever it is, <laughs> the, the blue color one. <laughs> interesting. How interesting. Mm. right of me there you can see the temple of Apollo and so it's believed that the ruins from this is what was in the Cleopatra antique pools that we were in before. On the left side we've got the theatre and we're definitely going to go to the top of that afterwards but right now we're just going to make our way down there and see what we can find. It's always the stories that make these ancient areas so special and here at Hierapolis I've got a really good one. It is the god Pluto right behind me over there. He is a reproduction, that one isn't the original statue, but he is the god of the underworld and he's flanked by the three-headed dog Cerberus, which you might know from movies such as Harry Potter. Yes! Yeah, and so the mystery back in those days were priests would drag bulls out here and in this chamber right over here behind me there is a little gate and that is actually the gate to the underworld. Well, so they believe. <laughs> so they believe. And what they didn't know back then was there's actually poisonous gases being emitted from that gate. And the bull, because they're lower to the ground than the priests, would actually die from the poisonous gases. But the priests would be fine for the most part because they were more elevated. And they had to quickly go back before the gases started affecting them as well. And that's something that modern science is able to prove now. Yeah, and all these parts here would have been spectators just watching those unusual rituals.
This place is so impressive and we've really enjoyed checking out amphitheaters during our time here in Turkey. So we saw the one in Kash, which faced the sea, and also the one in Demre, which was the ancient city of Mira. Now this one, it's pretty huge and it's so well preserved too, even though it has been restored over time. It was apparently inhibited, this whole area, and built upon way, way, way back, like something like 600 BC, I think it was. But it was only around the second century AD when it became Heropolis and it had such an allure with those pools that even Roman emperors would come and visit like Emperor Hadrian who is said to have come in the second century and I think it was this theatre was built in order for his visit so yeah it's just incredible and we especially like that part over there I reckon Emperor Hadrian would have sat right there. That looks like a seat fit for the Emperor. We just caught a short ride over here to the northern gate and it was 17 lira and it got us right to the exit gate where we we're able to catch a bus over to Denisli. It's quite a short ride over from the Cleopatra pools but it does save us from walking in this heat eh bud? Yes it does and it is pretty cool because it also lands us back at the necropolis and that was probably the lowest on our list of the things we wanted to see while we were here in Heropolis. But yeah I'm so glad we started the day when and where we did which was the south entrance and at 6 30 a.m in the morning because we got to see so much and spend an entire day here it's been i don't know nine hours I think, <laughs> yeah. that we've spent yeah we so spent a long time and we've enjoyed every single minute of it it's yes, been amazing have. yeah we're gonna find our way over to the um bus station though to get back to dennis lee which is where we're staying in the morning we actually caught a taxi to come over because of just convenience sake it took about 20 minutes from the town of dennis lee which is right next to Pamuk Kale, yeah, and, and that was about 200, 200 lira. Fly on you. <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> yeah, also made Peter a makeshift uh, head head scarf thingy because yeah, it is super hot. But anyways, guys, we hope you really enjoyed following along with us on this vlog. We had a fantastic time, and if you did, please do remember to give our video a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. We love hearing from you. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'd love to have you join our community. And if you can, please share our videos because that helps our channel and we always appreciate it. Until next time, everybody. See you. See ya.